Okay, so I got my hood on. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Check this out. So if you see down in between those, you see all the honey is capped off. So that means that this whole top box is full of honey. So the next box looks like this. Looks like it's full of honey too. Very nice population of bees. You gotta watch out if there's like no bees around on a box. You're like, uh-oh. But this is very nice looking. So there's a bunch of honey there too. And there's, if the honey is completely full in a box, there'll be less bees in it just because there's less room and there's less things for them to do. So you don't have to worry about seeing a few less bees just when it's full honey. So, oh dear. They like to fill this one out and, and attach it to the bottom. That sucks. Look at that. So a lot of this is drone brood. You see that? That's all drones. Those are capped off. And when the drones hatch, they tend to fill it with honey. So these are the areas that they're starting to fill with honey. You notice these bees are working with the honey. And this is just honeycomb that I've got to cut out. But that's that's beautiful honey. See, look at that. So beautiful. This is capped off honey. You can tell it's got the wax coating. And this is capped off brood, which has like this... Um, sort of leathery coating so that the bees can breathe through it when they're in their cells. Yeah, so I've got to do this little bit of cleanup here. That's okay. That's not too bad. Check back with you when I've finished cutting it all down. Okay, so I've decided that we probably need to take honey out since there's so much honey in the rest of the boxes too. So I've gotten here a pot, a clean pot, which we're going to put some of these cut combs in. And then um, we're going to take it in the gator over and extract some honey and some pollen. So anyway, hello little bees. Hello. See, they're so gentle. This is the carniolan type of honeybee. You could just look right into them without any covering on. Right in the middle of their hive. So cool. My goal with beekeeping is to never kill a bee if you can. I don't smoke them if you notice there's no smoker going. But they don't need it. They're so chill. But it's really important to be gentle with them because the queen productivity stays high. She doesn't get freaked out with her smoke. And all the bees don't go into panic mode and have to like get ready to vacate their hives because it's on fire. So it's always a great way to work with bees if you can without smoke. And I understand there's some bees out there that are super aggressive and they really don't like you going into their hive, in which case smoke does calm them down. But ideally, you don't have to do that. So that's what it looks like after I scraped it off. So that's still filled with honey for this next one as well as you can see. So what I'm going for is uh, I don't want to take too much honey, but I want to take enough honey where they, you know, are um, able to continue because there's a honey flow going on right now. Oh, that's heavy. That's about 100 pounds. But that's beautiful comb. Look at that. Fully capped off. And the reason why they're doing this and gluing it down to the bottom. It's not a usual behavior. Usually they will keep it separate like this. But the reason why that's happening is because I have some short frames in the box above so there's all this space and I actually want that to make comb for my comb. Instead of giving them like raw wire or empty frames it takes forever for them to get straight on it. So I just give them a short frame which is about this tall right here and then the rest of it they'll just make comb and unfortunately they do attach it to the bottom but it's not that big of a deal to cut it off but look at that the sun glowing through it oh man beautiful so now you notice there's a lot more bees in between that's a sign that there's brood there and this is honey and you notice there's not as many bees so you could tell that there's brood in these frames here because of all of the bees in between the frames and all the bees are tending the brood. The brood's all that pattern. It's not the best pattern in the world, but um, it's just this frame. This is what eggs look like. I'm gonna put this frame in the sun. Now you look in there real closely in the sun and you'll see some eggs. They have a little bit of royal jelly around them so that they're going to look a little pale in the bottom. But if you see actual eggs, now these are a couple of days old, 
the queen was here a couple of days ago. So these are larvae now. They've hatched from their egg. But if you look really closely, you'll see this tiny little coiled up white thing in the bottom. And those are the about three to four day old eggs that have hatched into little larvae. See, that's a better pattern on this side. I don't see any weird behaviors except for some spotty brood patterns, but that's pretty healthy brood and pretty healthy bees. Um, a good number. Any more than this uh, bees and it almost looks like they're going to swarm, so you can tell by the population. So that's a pretty healthy, nice bee uh, frame. And some of these other frames are going to be better. This is just one frame in the whole hive. And I think these two boxes have brood in them. So we're going to get better brood. But anyway, that's this frame. So this stuff is called bee space. Very important to have the correct bee space. And if they get too tight, you hear that pitch go up a little bit? It gets mm, just like they're being squeezed a little bit. And if you let it go, if you listen very carefully, they'll get quiet again. You notice? So it's very important to get that correct bee space. And I actually listen to listen how close they are. You notice they're all migrating into this box here. So that's good. Very healthy bees. That's a healthy population right there. Very nice. So, check this out. So this is where all the pollen is. It looks like any other box. You tell the bees are in between a lot in this area. So this probably has some brood in it. I'm hoping that some of these frames will have pollen. You see that little pollen ball on the back leg of that bee? The little yellow pollen ball? So that's where they're coming, they're bringing pollen. Sometimes they drop a little piece of pollen like that right there. Just on the top. So we're gonna see what's in this box. So this is a pollen frame. See all the cool colors in there? Look at that, beautiful, cool colors. Those are all the different kinds of trees that we have around here, and some bees have pollen on their legs, they're ready to deposit it. So what they do is they compact it into the cells really tight, and that's called bee bread. So this is what they naturally do with the pollen in the hive if you don't take the pollen from them on the, on the uh, doorstep. So they actually make bee bread, which is pollen in the, the honeycomb. So they store it just like they store honey. This is why I like to do the short frame. You notice it's a short frame, and then they make all this nice comb on the bottom, and they're filling that up with honey. It's not done yet. This is drone brood. It's big, big bulging caps. And then all this here is pump. And there's uh, a lot of drone brood here, so if I get rid of that and I feed it to the chickens, I get rid of a lot of the mites that are in the hive, and this is all pollen. Okay. I'm going to set this aside so that's all the pollen. It's a couple old brood, but that's okay. Look at that solid pollen. Very nice. See all the bees grabbing onto each other? That's really cool. So if I left that, a whole bunch of bees would start doing that. And then they start secreting wax. And that's how they make new pollen.